um, hi guys so this video is all about the demonstration of uh, our pulse rate detector so as you can see this is the TCRD 5000 this is the LCD and a hell lot of wires which are connected from the microcontroller which is a little ahead than the LCD is and uh, that tiny bit I don't know if you can see it but uh, it's covered by the capacitor here so that tiny bit over there is the LM358 uh, op amp and that's the assembly right and it's all there on our breadboard so now I'm just gonna show a quick demonstration and uh, so let's just start the power supply so it's basically giving me out as I said earlier as well 3.3 um, and 5 volts simultaneously so I'm giving the 3.3 volts to my microcontroller out there and the 5 volts to the LCD and the LM358 alright so this just says place fingertip on the sensor I'm not sure if you are able to see what the LCD is saying but I think it is kind of visible so now I just have to place my fingertip on the sensor and afterwards you have to press a button um, you won't see the button clearly from here so if I just move a few wires and maybe then I don't know if it will be visible it's not a very good angle to see the button so um, you just have to believe me right now so I'm just gonna press the button at the moment and you can see the LED will glow so it is also covered a little bit under the mesh of wires but I'm sure you'll be able to see the glow so let's just start so there you go the LED and the LCD says please wait so we're gonna wait and my heart is beating quite fast at the moment and it's yeah it's 96 beats per minute so let's just try it again right um, I'll try this without speaking this time probably let's see what happens then you can al always do this on a PCB and you know it's a good idea to make it a permanent circuit if you want if you're doing it as a part of your final year project or something like that but otherwise um, it's just good to do it on a prototype board so let's just do this again so again I press the button so that's it's 92 beats per minute so definitely my heart is beating faster and no the reading is not incorrect it's just that it is beating faster at the moment and uh, that's the reason why they're showing it this way because I just checked it um, uh, I checked the pulse rate uh, manually as well and it is kind of close to this value so yes it is working properly and so this is another section of the video where I've just connected a red LED so uh, you can see it blinking when the heart starts beating so I'm just gonna place my finger right now and uh, I'll just switch on the power supply it says place the fingertip on the sensor but as you know this is not controlled by anything it's just LM358 giving it the output so it is beating with my heartbeat If I measure, just to give you a demo. So as you can see, it's showing 108, so it's a periodic sort of thing. But if I take off my finger, then you can see it's, you know, sometimes it's catching some noise. So like, so it picks up noise as well. So you have to keep your finger very close, and then the magic happens, right? So when you keep it, keep the finger close, it starts blinking, right? It is picking up your heartbeat. If not, then sometimes it picks up noise and stuff like that. So that's about it. That was just an addition of the LED. You know, you can just see the circuit once. It's connected just the way I had explained you earlier in the circuit diagram and the algorithm is also the same which I had explained the software algorithm so now you can see the switch and the tiny little LED and that's the battery um, 9 volt and that's the power supply and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this series if you did 
then as you know you need to subscribe because I'll need more content if you are liking this sort of thing so my attempt is to just make it uh, very easy and very simple because I think most important part in any project is to make things um, simple you know it's already difficult to understand and there are so many blogs and stuff out there so somebody has to make it easy and uh, simpler to understand and therefore you know somebody can gather the courage to implement such projects so that's the idea behind this so i hope you subscribe and like this video as well and comment if you have any constructive feedback to give because i'm always open to that kind of feedback and the next project will be mostly on uh, using the lcd uh, in a slightly different manner so this is used in 4-bit mode um, the next thing will be quite interesting so be hooked to, to the channel and let's see what's next all right so bye bye take care thank you